The third version of Rock, Scissors, Paper explores new animal vocabulary through finger play and using your imagination. It also has a fun surprise at the end. It's simple and fun and can be done with one child or a large group. Rock, Scissors, Paper is not only a song. It's also a great activity you can do anytime and anywhere. All you need is your hands and your imagination. Stay tuned until after the song to learn some fun activities you can do with this version of Rock, Scissors, Paper. Now, let's get started. When singing this song, you can use your actual left and right, or for younger learners, you may prefer to mirror left and right. I'm going to mirror for this demonstration. Rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper, one, two, three, play with me. Right hand, rock, left hand, rock. It's a bear. Rawr. Rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper, one, two, three, play with me. Right hand, paper. Left hand, paper. It's a rabbit. Hop, hop. Rock, scissors, paper. Rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three. Play with me. Right hand, rock. Left hand, paper. It's a jellyfish. Rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three, play with me. Right hand, paper, left hand, paper. That was Rock, Scissors, Paper. Before singing the song, demonstrate the three hand gestures, rock, scissors, and paper. Practice by calling out the different gestures and checking that the children are making the correct one. Challenge them to make them as fast as they can. Rock, scissors, paper, rock, paper. You can have the students take turns calling out rock, scissors, or paper to each other too. If you are teaching left and right, spend some time practicing before you sing the song. When you are first practicing, try turning around so that you are facing the same direction as the children when you raise your hands. Or if you're facing them, mirror left and right so that they raise their correct hands. If they're having trouble, place a sticker on their right hand and remind them that their sticker hand is their right hand. Encourage the children to make the animal gestures with their hands. It might be a little tricky at first. It takes some practice for little hands. Because the song is such a simple tune, you can do it with the music or without and give the little ones some extra time to make the finger play animals. Try coming up with new combinations. Everyone can take a turn coming up with something new. You can also use this song to introduce new vocabulary that have simple finger play gestures you can do with your hands. This version of Rock, Scissors, Paper ends with a fun game of peekaboo. This is a great lead in to sing the peekaboo song from Super Simple and do one of the activities with that song. We hope you enjoyed the third version of Rock, Scissors, Paper. Keep on singing, learning, and having fun. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out supersimple.com for more songs and resources. If you have any ideas on how to use this song in the classroom or at home, 
let us know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe for more teaching tips. Woo!